Hey friends, welcome to a review with the Demon. Today I'm reviewing Dead Beach Brewing Abuela Stout. It is a Mexican Imperial Chocolate Stout that clocks in at 8% alcohol by volume. Fun fact, this is actually my first stout I've ever reviewed on the channel. Or first stout, Imperial Stout, whatever. The reason why that is, because I feel like a lot of modern Imperial Stouts, not so much Stouts, but Imperial Stouts, can be too rich and too sugary, so I kind of stay away from them. And that is why this is the first Imperial Stout, in, or Stout of any kind in general, that I've ever reviewed on my channel. So it's not really a go-to style, but as it gets colder out, I really do appreciate an imperial stout and right now in chicago it is cold so i'm excited to get into this this is from dead beach brewing oh uh, they're out of el paso texas and the canned on date was march 4th i think i don't know if that's the canned on date or when it's good and tall um no that, that's when it's good and tall because it's march 4th 25 so this beer is still really good um that's the best buy date because obviously it's not 2025 yet. All right. I'm excited to get into Abuela Stout, a Mexican chocolate stout from Dead Beach Brewing. First stout I'm reviewing on the channel. I also want to give a shout out to Jackie. Thank you so much for this. I'll tag her in the comments. I really appreciate it, especially because I'm doing something different. So another reason why I wanted to review this, she likes this beer. And she, uh, she sent me a box. This was uh, one of her favorite beers. So let's try it. All right. All right. Right away, I mean, not super thick looking, but that's okay. I mean, not everything has to be like a dessert in a glass. So, all right. Let's uh, smell it, shall we? Salute. Wow. It does smell really good. Like, it does kind of have like a, like a cocoa powder. Then it, it goes into like a hot chocolate hot chocolate smell like right away almost like a little bit of like a nuttiness in there too definitely like a little bit of like a nuttiness you get that cocoa powder you get like a hot chocolate smell it smells really really good i'm really excited to drink a stout with everyone because like i said it's not a go-to style it's cold in chicago it's honestly perfect for this all right let's uh smell it again salute like underneath, I feel like there might be like some like um some darker fruits in there, like maybe like figs like underneath. Man, this 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 beer reminds me like I want to sit in front of a campfire and like drink this. That's like like I want to like literally sit in front of a campfire and drink this. That's the vibe that it's giving me right now. So yeah, you have that hot cocoa, you have that hot chocolate, um. You definitely have like a little bit of those dark fruits underneath. Let's see what else I'm getting here. Yeah, the dark fruits are becoming a little more prominent, like as I smell it more. And then it's giving me those campfire vibes. Like this is something I want to sit in front of a fire, tell scary stories and drink a good uh, Imperial Stout. Yeah, there's definitely that nuttiness there too. I also that's also kind of coming back into the fold. So you so with the chocolate flavors, it's layered with like a darker fruits and like um like a like a nuttiness. I'm not sure like what kind of nuttiness. I don't know if it's like an almond or that that I'm not sure. I mean it's not cashew, but all right, let's uh, smell it again and uh stick our nose into it. Salute. Yeah, some of those like darker fruity characters are um are becoming a little more prominent. I'm almost getting a little bit like cherry in there as well, which I kind of like. All right, let's uh smell it one more time before we take it down the hatch. I will, I will, almost I almost want to say I don't know if I'm fooling myself right now because it's giving me campfire vibes, but there might be like a little bit of smokiness in there because when I said campfire vibes, I didn't necessarily mean like smokiness or fire, but now that I'm smelling it, I'm like it might be a little smoky. I don't know if I'm in my head about it. I could be. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting right now. All right, guys. A boil list out, Dead Beach Brewing, 8% alcohol by volume, Mexican chocolate stout. So if you when you look it up on their like page in like an untapped, it says it's an imperial stout, but 
For some reason, the can just says stout. I mean, it's 8%. You're getting up to, like, imperial territory. All right, guys. Let's take it down the hatch. Salute. So, it's not that sweet. Like, I mean, the sweetness is there, but it's not that sweet. Like, honestly, this beer for, like, an imperial stout is, like, very, like, very drinkable. Because a lot of those imperial stouts are so thick and like cloying like i honestly don't want more than like a small like glass but this is like i could easily like drink this can which is a good sign it's it's a very drinkable beer all right let's take it in the hatch again salut yeah this is good. This, this is I'm actually I'm actually like impressed by this. Like I could see why this beer is popular. Um it's very very drinkable. There is a sweetness there, but it's not overpowering. Um a lot of the flavors I got on the nose are definitely present in there. Let's so now now let's it, let me actually talk about like the notes I'm getting. I'm pretty sure it's very similar to the nose, but I want to like dive a little more into the nuances. Salut. Yeah, there's definitely like a fruity character there that um is probably as the beer is warming up because I definitely smell more fruit character as the beer was sitting for a while. I'm definitely getting, like, cherry more than fig. I'm definitely getting, like, that hot cocoa powder, too. That's definitely there. Man, this is... It's, it's, it's good. It's really good, honestly. Like, I, I, I actually really... I actually really do enjoy this stout. Like, and I'm not a big stout guy... I just like the drinkability factor on this is super impressive because, like I said, like, I don't feel like I'm going to get diabetes. It's not, like, cloying. Like, um, it's just, like, it's very easy and, like, nice. And this is, this is, like, the kind of stout I actually could drink and not, like, have, like, a sugar overload, which is honestly, so far, that's my favorite thing about it. Um, let's take on the match again. Salute. So, so far dominating flavors are those cherries i'm getting a little bit of that cocoa powder there is like a nuttiness factor there too just like i got on the nose again i'm not sure okay it almost tastes like now i kind of know what it is not necessarily like an almond but i'm getting like a like a nut like dipped in like chocolate and sea salt that's what i'm getting like somewhere like over here that's kind of what i'm getting i know that's like very specific but all right let's take out the hatch again salute yeah so you could say that it's a, it's it's a nut dipped in chocolate with sea salt or you could even separate the flavors and be like i'm getting sea salt i'm getting like a liquid pow liquid and powder chocolate and then i'm getting like i'm um, some sort of like nut and then like the cherry flavor to like wrap it all up all right i want to take this down the hatch a few more times before i um give it my final review i'm actually so impressed by like how drinkable this is i mean i will say i, I maybe i wish some of the notes were a little more dominant but again it's not like a super intense like imperial like sugary like stout it's not that beer so i kind of get maybe because some of those things are dialed down that it's not a super thick super heavy uh beer maybe some of the flavors might be a little more dialed back and i think with craft beer people are just so used to being hit over the head with flavor 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 adjuncts they kind of forget to Let's just take it back to, like, a simplicity, like a simplicity, like, imperial stout. So, and for that, I like it, and it's very, very drinkable. Like, I could crush this. All right, salut. Let's take another notch again. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. I like it. This is really good. I mean, it's, it's been really fun to, like, drink an imperial stout with everybody. It's been really really fun i'm gonna take it on the hatch one more time to go over my notes and then i'm gonna give it my final score man i can't believe i almost drink this all that doesn't happen like when i like when i drink like ipas it's a little more like some of those like 
hazies are a little more like heavy handed with the double dry hopping. So, all right, let's take it on the hatch. Salut. Yeah, man. So now, now I'm getting like a like like a cherry dipped in like chocolate and sea salt, and you're still getting that nut nut with like a chocolate and sea salt, and then cocoa powder. Man, this is this is a good beer for somebody that doesn't love love stouts, imperial stouts because they're too rich. I like this beer. This is very good. Dead Beach Brewing, keep on brewing this. Jackie, thank you so much. Final score on this beer on a scale from 1 to 5 is 4.25. Really good. All right, guys, salute. Have a good day.